Hello. So we are going to start, as always, with a minute of silence. Starting now. I think I went a little past. It's all right. Today I wanted to talk about a few things before I did a actual 10 minute meditation. And it'll be the version I've been enjoying the most, uh, which is a meditation by Kyle Cease. So if you would like to know more about what that is, uh, go to type in your uh, in YouTube, Kyle Cease guided meditation or Kyle's meditation and learn more what a, about what it's about. I don't want to misquote him, but for me, what I get out of it is there's no wrong way to do it. Uh, if something comes up, uh, give it the space of love and acceptance and let it come up and out uh, versus like letting... Uh, Try not to have thoughts. And if your brain goes, oh, I can't do this, or gets nervous or something, just go, I love it, I love it. And truly try to love it, but love the experience of it. Because it, 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 you, your body is literally telling you, so it's communicating something to you. So instead of arguing with it, or fighting with it, or resisting it, or even listening to it in the sense of, oh, we're scared, okay, let's be scared, just, understand it listen to it and let it go but if you i really do suggest going to kyle cease and learning more about that um so before i do that meditation the few things i want to talk about were what is your definition of good art or what you deem a good artist is. This is your definition. Uh, so I'm gonna write down, for me, good art. Good art. Or art I like. Yeah, let's say art I like. Makes me, me. it makes me feel something sh strongly. Strongly. It's genuine. Genuine. Honest. 
honest. Vulnerable. Um. Sometimes it, it 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 helps me understand something that maybe words wouldn't if it's like a visual piece or a sound piece wouldn't okay uh, a good artist um, someone who's just dedicated uh, makes mistakes I, I do like the mistakes almost everything I've ever done literally actually everything I've ever done art wise there has been a mistake that's made it better in some way. Like something I didn't intend to do, but came up and I put into the piece itself. And if what you are is put into your art, then along your journey of doing the art, all the practice, all the mistakes, all the flubs, the bloopers, whatever you want to call them, happened, which brought you to here present, and your artwork that you put out is a culmination of that, because it's your whole life experience. My, uh, in essence, um, my mime teacher, M-I-M-E, in a box, teacher said, someone asked him, how long it took him to make this, he was also a painter um, how long it took him to make one of his paintings and he said 50 years because <laughs> it's his whole it's his total it's, it's everything he's ever done has gotten him to that piece and I think partly that's how one should think about their work it's every time you do something new or you put something else out it's 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 an it's more of you than was than what the last thing was because you lived a little longer probably made a few more mistakes probably learned a few more things there's just more experience knowledge behind the newest thing the newest thing so don't be worried about staying fresh growing uh, changing it happens like I said in a previous video if uh, rocks that are very strong if they can round out smooth out over time something that's made of mostly water can change and does so what makes a good artist uh, they make mistakes um, they are constantly or in efforts of experiencing the now Also, a lot of artists that I've enjoyed have done multiple things versus specialize in one specific thing. Uh, I like, I like versatility. Versatility. Um, also staying curious, staying curious. Uh, something I didn't experience but I loved hearing the story of was a friend of mine 
said they watched a grandmaster do a very basic form and still futz around with it and shake their head and kind of do it over and over and over again and didn't seem to like lose their interest curiosity about it and it was in one of the very basic forms probably has anywhere from like five to 25 moves martial arts um and a, an advanced form might have you know minimum 25 moves you know more, and then above so to hear a grandmaster who's probably done that specific form more than i've probably done any of my forms in my entire life and is still approaching it with the same enthusiasm curiosity and she trying to see it from a different perspective and trying new things with it just inspired me and i love that quality um yeah so wrote a few things another thing you can do is when you have decided what those two things are the definitions of what some uh, art you like and artists you like they have the finished product so you can work backwards on all of their stuff and make for yourself a blueprint of what you feel were the factors their skills um, if even if it's a personality trait uh, maybe their process if they've spoken about it or you can tell what their process because it was uh, captured some way measured in some way mm, and it'll help one more define what it is you want to do and give you a possible roadmap of how to do it. And I, I'm sure if you like more than two people, you're going to have more than two roadmaps. So you're going to have oh, a kind of three-dimensional or variety of resources to use of what type of uh, maybe an amalgamation, you can be an amalgamation of those things. Um, and then also, that's what makes you you. You're going to like something in a different capacity or on a different spectrum than someone else or even the artist you like. So even if you try to mimic uh, your artist that you like, your favorite artist, you may never be them because you can only be the best you, not the best them. You can be a second-rate them. But you'll always be... You'll always bring something to the table that's different. You'll never be able to do exactly, exactly to a T, everything they've ever done. Because they have all of their experience, their time, their mistakes, how they make their mistakes, how they think about something that you just can't mimic. You can't mimic someone's life. That's my opinion, but that's how I feel about it. So I'm gonna say it. Um, and if you disagree, totally fine. I'd, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it as well. But the roadmap is out there. If you start defining the best qualities of what you think art or a good artist are, then you can start figuring out how to implement those things for yourself or not, or taking away things that you don't like from people necessarily like one thing, but not another thing. So you can pick and choose and tailor you, create you. And you can create you by looking externally. So for the first few steps were figuring out what's happening here with you, giving yourself good intentions, uh, creating your own space in your mind, uh, giving, giving yourself more confidence, being connected with you. And another way to connect more with you is to look outside yourself and see the things you are attracted to, not attracted to, um, what you th think works for other people and adopt that into your work habit or your work ethic or your workspace or what have you. And then what inspires you? What are the things 
uh, visually, sound, w- with any of the senses, uh, mentally, emotionally, mm, on a soul level, inspire you. So I would write, right now I'm going to write those kinds of things down. What inspires me? Smiling. Conversation. Wonder. Uh, judgment. Uh, uh, feedback without being judgmental. Oh, and I just want to say this because it just came to my mind. Um, One of the things I super don't like is when you are like when you're in a space with someone and you're asking, you're showing them your work and they just go cool, good, thumbs up, but don't expand on that. Oh, man. Woof. That can make me sour. Whoa. Man, I like you can even say you don't like it, but if you can explain why you don't like it or why it made you feel a certain way, that is even acceptable. Like, I don't need you to. I don't. I don't need a, a yes person. I don't need someone to just be like, "Oh, that's so cool." Man, that'll put me in a funk mood. Just wanted to say that. Uh, so other things that inspire me, honesty. Honesty. Uh, humor. Humor for sure. Uh, something out of my, something out of my per- periphery that, uh, that, that was like pointed out to me, like always a new perspective always inspires me. New perspective. Someone else's work too, like showing, being open about your own stuff. That's super inspirational to me. Uh, open about your, so sharing, sharing for sure. So these are the things that inspire me. So in some, to sum up, uh, def- definition of a good artist or their art, then work backwards and try to figure out why you like those things about them or their art. Um, what inspires you? And try to uh, try try to set up your space with things that inspire you. So if it's a color, put the color. Oh, colors! Colors inspire me. Definitely like a light purple. Uh, my pants. Ooh, my pants. My pant color blue. Just a kind of light blue kind of thing. Yeah, that inspires me. Colors inspire. Sound. Oh, sound. Sound inspires me. Uh, yeah, uh, so surround yourself or try to set up your space or wherever you are with these things, these factors, uh, color, uh, maybe decluttering. You, you don't like a lot of stuff on the floor or on, on things, clean it up. Or if you do like your own organized mess, have your own organized mess, make it a little spot for you. Oh, uh, mantras. Having a, having a little quote or saying that you like to repeat to yourself that can be inspiring and set a good tone for yourself, um, for your space as well. Also, I, I'm, I'm always an advocate of things that you can carry with you all the time. So a lot of things in your head, like your own happy place, you know, mind palace kind of thing, meditation, Things that are portable, that you at a moment's notice you can kind of tap into it, but uh, your favorite necklace, uh, a deck of cards, uh, a little quick, uh, what are those things called? Um, the, the stim toys? I forget what they're called. The, the, it's a little toy for like attention. Can't think of what it's called, but if you know what it is, cool. So that wraps up what I want to talk about. Um, t- 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 
I'm going to do a 10 minute meditation. I'm going to set my timer. And uh, if you want to join me, join me. Okay, so I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, oh my god. Starting now.
few things that came up for me during the meditation was, can I do 10 minutes? Will be hard. My neck hurts. Am I doing this wrong? Thinking, and then I had a random thought about uh, someone I work with uh, and replaying a conversation we had today. And it just kept coming back to my breath and just, if it wanted to tell the story, it tell, told the story. And one thing that came up was I should start putting myself in little situations that I am uncomfortable and sitting through it and finishing it. Uh, and it just said, expand, expand your own comfort, uncomfortable zone. Expand, expand that zone, expand it. Kept saying it. And of course, my first reaction was, no, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, but one of the things is meditation. I will meditate every day. What's an uncomfortable number? 30 minutes. I'll try for 30. I'll do 30. If you have any art exercises you'd like me to try, any prompts, any suggestions, feedback, please share if you'd like to join me on a video send me a message we could do that and i hope you are getting anything something out of this i'd like to hear back if you are mm. and i'm going to give myself props i did another video today so that's every day i've done a video uh, I did a few exercises today. I wrote on my own without even thinking about it. I brought my book to school. Um, I had a less stressful day than normal, or what I would consider a, norm a normal stress day. I had lunch with a friend of mine, a dinner with a friend of mine who I very much enjoy, the company of. Um, I wrote another part of the song that I was feeling a little stuck on, but just like it'll come when it comes it came today uh, the next part I'm not sure about but the same advice I'm giving myself it'll come when it comes I'm just uh, I'm enjoying this it's making me feel more connected with myself and I feel like I'm doing more than I ever have and I'm putting myself out there again. Uh, part of why I'm doing this was one of my things was not thinking I was good enough. Uh, no one would want to hear what I was saying. And I couldn't do, I couldn't record myself and put it out there. And I'm doing it, and it's unedited, and it's daily. What? Uh, yeah. Alright. Have a good day.